So I had a situation where I needed to migrate a code base from normal CSS files to SAS files, SCSS files. And there was lots of different files and lots of different folders all nested within one another. And I thought about obviously doing it manually, one by one, changing the file extension. And then I thought, oh, maybe I could use the Finder where it's got the, the battery name facility, but obviously a lot of these files were nested. So I wasn't quite sure how to tackle it. Asked the question in the Sublime Text Discord server how other people had solved this problem. And somebody pointed me towards a utility for ZSH shell called ZMV. And what that does is let you, in fairly simple terms, um, pass globbing patterns in to find batches of files and rename them. So that probably sounds more complicated than hopefully it will be. So let's jump into the terminal and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing you need to do is auto load the ZMV function. So you can just do auto load ZMV. And by the way, um, ZSH is the default shell now in Mac OS. It, it never used to be, it used to be bash if I remember rightly. But nowadays you'll have ZSH if you're on Catalina onwards, so you should be good to go. So we're gonna auto load ZMV. You don't really get much feedback there, but that's done its thing. And then the situation I was in, let me give you, show you the finder um, here. So I've got a horrible, this isn't the, the project in question, but this is just to give you an idea to show you what we're about to do. So in this example, I've got a, this is a WordPress theme. It's my own messy theme from hundreds of years old. And in there, I've got a pre-CSS folder here, and you can see all these are, are dot .css extensions. So say, for example, I wanted to change all those to be SCSS files. And there's a couple of nested ones in here, which gives you some idea of, of what we can do with this. We've also got things like a node modules folder there, which obviously there's gonna be CSS in there, which we're not going to want to rename at the same time. Let's take a look at the syntax. So it's ZMV. So you get one set of quotes like that, and then you get another set of quotes like that. And what you put in here is what you want to match. And then what is in the second set of quotes is going to be what you want the output to be. In our example, brackets, parentheses, to set groups of what you want to capture. So in this instance, we're gonna use globbing patterns. So it's two asterisks and a forward slash is our first pattern. Sorry, our first group. That's our second group and then dot CSS. So as that stands there at the minute, that's gonna find anything in any subdirectories that have got a dot CSS file extension. And these groups here with the parentheses get referenced with a dollar sign. So that would be our first one. And then that would be our second one. And then after that, you would put in whatever you wanted to change. So in this case, obviously it doesn't have to be SAS files that you're working with. It could be anything. You could be renaming any part of this file, but I'm changing the .css to a .scss. Now, if I ran that, obviously that would go and do that thing having learned the hard way, that is also going to include everything in the node modules folder, which we don't want to do. And if you're ever using uh, ZMV, which I've just realized I've not even spelled that right, ZMV, there is a dash N flag that you can pass, which lets you run that thing as a dry run. So I'll show you what I mean there. If I put in a dash N there, and then I run this, it's going to print me out the operation that it would do if I didn't have that dot dash n flag. So you can see here that I would actually get in a bit of a pickle because not only would I be doing the files that I did want to do, I'd also be getting all these node modules ones, which I don't want to do. So let's tweak this command here so that we can exclude the node modules. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make another group and crucially, the, the important, the sort of, the secret source here is you want the hat symbol. And then you're gonna do node modules. So we've used three sets of brackets now, parentheses, 
so we've actually got three groups. So what I had before in this in the second part of it, the resultant bit isn't going to work because what I need to do is I need to reference the three things that we're going to be grabbing. So I'm basically going to be grabbing anything that isn't node modules. That's my S1. And then that will be the forward slash. And then I'll have S2 is going to be my sort of file path, if you like. And then I want S3 there. So again, we can check to see what this is actually going to do now with that end flag. So that all looks pretty good. So now I can go ahead and we'll just pop the finder here so you can see it. I'll pop this there. Okay. So I'm going to run that again. Take off the end flag. And there you go. Just like that, everything gets renamed. And that will include our nested files here. And that's it. We use ZMV. We can do some very simple file operations to rename files, nested files, uh, rename part of files. Um, it's a great little tool automatically built into the ZSH shell. Hope that's been useful. Let me know down in the comments. One thing I wasn't able to figure out is how to exclude multiple folders. So if there was um, a node modules that I wanted to ignore and then another folder as well, how I could do that all in one command. So if you know how to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, thank you very much for watching.